Hello, welcome everyone back to theCUBE live here at Cisco Live in Mandalay Bay. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of Cisco's new platform announcements, a ton of new excitements, the clouds are coming together. You got the network cloud, you got the collaboration cloud, security cloud, not yet the collaboration. We're going to get into that in a second. I'm Java with my co host Dave Vellante. 13 years covering Cisco. Javed Khan is here, Senior Vice President and General Manager of all things collaboration. Great to have you on. Welcome to theCUBE. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, You're pleasure. now a CUBE alumni, distinguished member oh, of there our you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited class. Excited about that. Inner circle. <laughs> yep. Pretty much everyone on the management team, except for Chuck Robbins, is a CUBE alumni. Yeah, work on that. <laughs> we'll get him on. I'll, I'll, I'll we'll let him know. talk golf. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll talk golf all day. Golf will do it, yeah. yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Yep, so, top, you. really important topic, collaboration. So the news yesterday with Apple, and the headset, new form factors. You got video there, you got data. That's they didn't call it metaverse, they didn't even call it mixed reality, whatever they, spatial computing. You got video, you got the hybrid, you got WebEx, all kinds of things under your preview. Uh, tel uh, telepresence, yes. the whole world has shifted. Yes. And you're holding the wheel of the ship. Yeah. What's the update, tell us what's happening, what's the big story? Yeah, this is, this is an exciting time for collaboration. It, it actually has been for the last three years. I think we all went home a few years ago and uh, we figured out how to work when everybody was remote. We all became this little box in that five by five grid. But uh, as we kind of get used to this new world, which is hybrid, uh, the, ex the experiences are changing again. Every interaction now has remote people. Some of us are back in the conference rooms, some of us not so much. Uh, so so we, are, we are very focused on building these hybrid experiences. And because we build both software and hardware, uh, we are able to deliver some very, very interesting experiences. And that's what we are announcing uh, this week across our software and hardware portfolio. And uh, it's an exciting time to be in collaboration. Tell us more, what, what are you announcing that you can share? I know you got some other announcements coming tomorrow that you can't share, but so yeah. stay tuned for that. But Yep, yep, definitely tune in tomorrow, <laughs> exciting announcements <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, so uh, with, uh, with our software, one of the things that we've been focused on is uh, how does our software behave, how can we make it better when you have both uh, remote and in-person participants. Uh, so uh, in our conference rooms, for example, increasingly every meeting has remote participants, so we're announcing uh, a new feature called Cinematic Meetings, uh, which we introduced a little bit earlier uh, last year. We're going to use artificial intelligence to direct what a director would do, imagine if they were directing a meeting. Uh, what would they do? They'd, you know, if I'm walking around, they'd cut to a better shot, or if I get too close to you, it would actually include both of us in the same shot. Yeah. So think of it as an AI director that's coming to our yeah. uh, conference room meetings, uh, because uh, that will allow the remote participants to follow along much better. Uh, so cinematic meetings, uh, well, that's one of the features we're announcing. Um, the, uh, the other area we're focused on is, um, uh, we've got uh, partnerships that we are announcing with uh, audio manufacturers. Uh, last year we announced uh, partnerships with Mercedes and Ford. We are taking that further. Uh, we're going to integrate with uh, Harman, which is a car manufacturer, uh, or car technology provider for car manufacturers. Uh, that'll allow uh, video experiences uh, from within cars, obviously when the cars are stationary or it'll switch to audio when uh, the car is moving. So meetings now coming to various car platforms so that you can uh, take your meeting from the car because sometimes we do. Hey, if it's self-driving, you might as well just do a Zoom <laughs> meeting right there on the spot. Yeah, if the car's driving itself, then why not uh, just uh, take a meeting, a WebEx meeting from the, from the car. So, so the cinem cinematic meetings is interesting because I've noticed as people come back to the office, when you're in a, a, a call with them, it's really awkward. Yes. Right? They've got some camera up here, they're sort of, they got their laptops out, they're not sure whether or not they should go on from the, la oh, the camera. Yes. And you're looking down, the sound is not great. So these are the problems that you're, you're exactly. working on. Exactly. Usually yeah. from a conference room, especially if you're remote, you have a static view of the speaker. Yes. Or maybe you can see one of you and you can't see the person in the Terrible. back. If you stand up and walk, then you're lost, uh, right? Very and right. so the idea there was, what would a Hollywood director do if they were directing the meeting? And today, AI is allowing us to do that yeah. with software, especially if you have multiple yeah. cameras in the room. And increasingly, you know, we are all walking in these rooms with a laptop, uh, which has, a, which, which has yeah. a camera on it. So we'll, over time, start to use multiple cameras or all the available cameras in the room. And then, so. in terms of the, the, the auto deals that you have, you know, we all take calls in the car, 
right? And you usually you go off camera. Sometimes you put it on, but it's yeah, terrible. Yeah. Is there, have you thought about, okay, well actually maybe I could have the camera on the driver, yeah. right? Yeah. Give it a little vibe there so that I, they feel like they're, but is that, or is that like not cool because it encourages them to look at what's being shared or? Yeah, I think uh, safety is actually a very important reason why we are doing this because what we found was in the absence of a more integrated application, mm -hmm. uh, people yeah. were fumbling through their phones. They were trying to ca take these calls from their phones. Yes, you had Bluetooth, but you know, you, you, it, it was still a little bit of a safety concern. So, and then the second thing that's happened is increasingly these cars are actually technology platforms themselves. They are much better connected. Yeah. They have a decent sized screen. Uh, so what we've done is taken the pain of joining a meeting out. So it's calendar aware, it can join the meeting. But when you are moving, yeah. video is a distraction, so it's going to be off. Uh, you're just you're just an audio. But if you are stationary, you know, waiting for my daughter's uh, tennis game to finish, on, uh, yeah. you can switch to yeah. video and see the presentation if you want. But for safety reasons, so yeah. voice activated start to start a meeting. Voice or? obviously, or, or you can just touch yeah. many of these. Uh, one touch. One touch. As opposed to uh, and it's the calendar? calendar, so you don't have to enter yeah. the passcode and all that uh, crazy stuff when yeah. you're in the meeting and uh, that way you're taking the stress out of the meeting too. Uh, the other thing we'll do is we'll also make it easy to kind of move meetings. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're, you're joining from your phone, you're trying to switch, you end up in the meeting twice, so removing that stress uh, when you are on the road. Mm -hmm. But we are doing it across all platforms. Chuck Roberts was t telling us on the uh, analyst executive Q&A that you guys rewrote WebEx, it's all platformized, and now you have a lot of different things. So I'd love to hear what that is yeah. about. And then two, my second question is that you have a very hard job in observing the space and knowing Cisco for all these years. It's not just like enterprise you're targeting, you're targeting many verticals, it's very horizontal. I see cars over there, I see stadiums, I yes. see, you guys are, <laughs> media yes. trucks, so you got media entertainment, FinTech, many verticals. Yes. Are there differences on the verticals and how do you handle that horizontal scale that you need Obviously, you get the network underneath you, but like, it's not just like one thing. You got to like, yes. what's your? Uh, you know. Yeah, I think the key to that is uh, having a platform under the hood. Right. So one of the things that, and that's what Chuck was talking about. We've spent a lot of energy building out a collaboration platform. It's not just a video platform. It does video? It does audio? It does transcription and translation? But we've built those services into the platform. So it now allows us to build newer kinds of solutions for different kinds of form factors, whether it's the car or the laptop or the phone, but also for different kinds of verticals, right? So a hospital, uh, for example, or a doctor, right? Increasingly, they're using video to interact. They use, they use our platform. So they're able to take the fact that the platform has the ability to deliver video inside a web app and embed that uh, into uh, a hospital website, right? Or a doctor's website. So we've built a platform that's built for audio, video, uh, things like transcribing audio, uh, you know, t t spoken text, removing background noise, and that is now allowing us to deliver different kinds of solutions. You know, one of the things I see with Meraki has been a great success for Cisco is that it's got this enablement to it, because platforms should be enabling, right? Yes. Enabling value on top of the platform. So I think you know where this next question's going. What apps are going to sit on top of the platform? So you got WebEx as an app on the platform. Is there, is there new kinds of apps coming out that are super apps that are for, from super clouds like you guys have now? Or is, it, is there thinking around developers? If, I mean, I'm just thinking here, hmm, with theCUBE, yes. well, I'd love to develop on top of Cisco, but can I? Like, yes. is there like an API? Can I code? What's, the, what's your strategy in thinking around yes. extensibility of that platform? That is, that is the primary value of building out a platform because we can build so many of these use cases ourselves, yeah. but ultimately it's about enabling others to build that. So we, are, we already have a rich ecosystem, developer.webex.com, you can go and actually consume this platform yeah. using APIs. So you could very quickly build a little web page which has a Webex video exchange embedded in there, or a phone call, or sending of messages. So our platform yeah. enables that through APIs, and we have lots of applications that are already on the platform today. In fact, you can also integrate those uh, applications into our user interface. So while I'm in a WebEx meeting, you know, you could actually take the audio and the video and be do and, and, and in your case particularly, you could, you could have special effects or you could be transcribing that uh, and uh, recognizing sentiment. So we have yeah. an application that one of our partners has built which is used for sales calls. It's giving you hints 
on, oh, maybe this conversation is not His going so well. His attitude is ready to buy. <laughs> yes. His yeah. facial expressions are excited. <laughs> close, close. 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 <laughs> close. <laughs> so it's those kinds close of the deal. What's the story with Audi? They're coming on later. Um, yeah. what, what's the scoop there, the news? What should we ask them? Yeah, so we've got, uh, the, the partnership's actually with Harman, which is one of the technology integrators that many car manufacturers use, including uh, Audi. And uh, because we've uh, done that integration with Harman, that'll, that'll now be available in the, uh, you know, our, our Audi cars going forward. Uh, so uh, that's a great addition to uh, the integration that we've built. You're an Audi driver. I've been Audi, yeah, loyal yeah. driver. Yeah, I love Audi. Yep. Love that's the great. speakers, love the, love the interaction. I don't like how they turn off uh, CarPlay when I can't do FaceTimes to my daughters while driving. <laughs> I like to do FaceTimes <laughs> while driving. It's all about safety. That's a, I, I know think, I'm a safety. I'm not texting that, so. and driving, I'm <laughs> FaceTiming. <laughs> okay? So it's like, I put the thing right there. Like, I think, like, uh, yeah, but I mean, this is this comes back down to immersion, immersion experience. Like, the, da the windows could maybe be a monitor yeah. someday. Yeah. I mean, the goggles thing with Apple yesterday really kind of opened my mind to the fact that the content, the consumption environments are changing. Certainly Absolutely. you have different like footprints, yes. media entertainment, stadium environments, but the software, the users, yes. that yeah. is going to have more environments. So I'm just thinking like, what does that mean for collaboration? Yeah, so that is a uh, new form factor is how we think of it, uh, which will require its own user interfaces uh, yeah. to interact, uh, but collaboration is going to be expected uh, on all of these platforms. So we see that as a, you know, Apple's always been fantastic at yeah. building amazing experiences, solving some of the hardest problems. So we see that as a platform and uh, expect that, uh, uh, you know, we will continue to support all platforms, including all right. including the new ones from Apple, so. Final question, what's your North Star? What's your go-to-market plans right now? What are you, what's, take a minute to explain what you're working on and yeah. what the focus is. Yeah, so, so uh, there's a few things we are focused on. So one is, uh, uh, companies are in, uh, increasingly on the hardware side. I know you're speaking to Snara Keshbu. Um, uh, we are focused, uh, companies are trying to figure out what their campus looks like, right? Um, it may be smaller, smaller footprint, but it's going to look very different. Uh, so we are in the unique position with both our collaboration, networking, portfolio to help our customers redesign that new campus. So that's a big uh, go-to-market uh, focus. Uh, and the second area is, when you think about collaboration, it's not just meetings and messaging that gets the attention, but it's good old fashioned phone calls. Yeah. It is large events, uh, it's yeah. broadcast like this. So yeah. we've built tools that allow for all of that on the platform. So customers are increasingly uh, thinking about what their collaboration platform looks like, and that's a big go-to-market yeah. focus. They want partners. it fast, they want low latency, they want crisp screen, and they good want audio, across, yes, <laughs> they so want everything. Touch. Yep. Yep. Jeff, okay. great to have you on. We certainly do a follow up. I want to follow this trend because I think that the shift in developer action, open source, large language models. Yeah. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. We'd love to be back and uh, look forward to some more announcements tomorrow. All right. Yeah, good luck and tomorrow. Stay yep. tuned. You. Big announcement for generative AI with, with collaboration group at Cisco. I, I think I got to think ahead to what it might be. <laughs> uh, I think it's big, so stay tuned. More CUBE after the short break. Stay with us. CUBE coverage here in Las Vegas. For Cisco Live, I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, industry analyst, breaking all down all the action. Thanks for watching. <laughs>